Shout out to the KJ fam and you rock with Kristen and Jamia. We're back, you guys, for another car bong. Woo! But not just any car bong. What? But today we are trying Jolly Bees yes. for the very first time. Jamila and I have never got Jolly Bees in our. Well, sorry. No, no, we have. Yeah. One time. One time. One time in our lives, and I swear I, we were like 17. I'm pretty sure we were. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we were 17. <laughs> and we also we didn't get what um, like a variety of the stuff. Like yeah, I think we yeah. only got maybe like a burger yeah, that's it. or something like that. We and didn't even drink. go for the other stuff. Never you know? had the chicken. No. So never had the spaghetti. No. You could, guys, we got we have enough to feed a family of ten. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we asked the lady how to order, and she apparently ordered like a family style stuff. Yeah. Maybe that's all how you can get it. I'm not sure. Yeah. But we yeah. have chicken. We have spaghetti. Six piece chicken, mm -hmm. family size spaghetti. <laughs> Look at that. Gonna, Look at that. to spread the wealth here. Family size. Now, she was trying to get us a family size of the, is it poke bok? Poke bok. If I'm saying that right, fiesta. Uh, which I'll explain what that is in a minute. But she didn't get this family size because we stopped her. We we're like, no more. <laughs> Can I show it as a matter yeah, of fact? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is. Yeah, this is an individual yes. um, size of. Poke bok. I'm pretty sure I said that right. Uh, Ooh, that looks good though. It smells very seafoody. So it apparently, good. it's a traditional uh, Filipino dish with some ground beef. There's a uh, garlic. Um, it's a garlic sauce with shrimp. Oh, okay. Shrimp on it, eggs, and uh, there's probably a little bit more in there too. But that was pretty much what I read online. Some clear noodles. Yeah, on some the clear noodles, of course, right there. Um, but it smells good. Yeah, it, it smells smell good. good. I'm excited. Then we have way too much food. And then <laughs> we also got a burger. <laughs> we did get a burger. Um, okay, that was my idea. <laughs> I was like, we can't just... <laughs> I'm like, we can't just bounce without a burger. <laughs> oh, I remember getting a, I remember getting this burger now. Really? Something similar, yeah. We got a burger. So Still we're just going to taste test. To be honest, I'm really not that hungry. <laughs> I'm hungry for spaghetti right now, but... I'm really for everything else. Yeah. Well, you're about to eat a lot. <laughs> so. We also got um, Halo Halo right out down here. Yeah. Uh, which yeah. is the drink that we actually got before from. Um, a there was a Filipino place. restaurant that we went to, mm -hmm. uh, so we now know kind of, we have like more of a another. We kind of know what we're what to expect, but mm -hmm. you know what? This is going to be their own flavor, their own ice cream. So I'm excited for that. Yeah. So we got Halo Halo. So we're excited about that. And then of course with the family size, they give you three apple pies or mango pies, right? Peach mango. Peach mango pie. So we got three of these just in case. We have a lot. <laughs> okay, so let's let's go. Let's All let's right. do it. Are we start with the chicken? Well, yeah, start let's start with the chicken because they're right. no for the chicken. Guys, this place was popping. We're in Vallejo, California. Hella people. It was a line outside. It's crazy. And it wasn't even there was a good amount of people, good amount of room inside too. Yeah. Let me give you some napkins. Give you some napkins because I'm gonna eat water. like over this thing, I think. Oh, you wanna eat over there? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. You don't want to eat over a napkin? This will be, no, it'll be easier to eat in this bag. <laughs> okay, this chicken looks crispy. It does. It smells good, too. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we don't normally get chicken with uh, bone-in. I mean, you know, we do, um, whatchamacallit? I'm sorry. I got to open this. I can't, All right. I can't see, by the way. There's like a glare. Oh, so you can't I don't even see? Know how I yeah. <laughs> so if I'm more like this, it's because I can't see you. Okay. All right. Well, let's just do it. Okay. Are you ready? It looks good. It actually does look good. My mouth is watering a little bit. All right, one, two, three. Whoa, hot. Cool. Oh. Ooh. That's good. Wow. Ooh, that's good. Mm. Mm. That's a really good flavor. Flavor. It's extremely good flavor. This is chicken is. Can I talk? Oh, no. <laughs> hey, ma'am. I'm just kidding. I was gonna say it's falling off. <laughs> it is. It is falling. <laughs> I was gonna say the chicken's like super moist and tender on the inside, which I really enjoy. Mm -hmm. Like it's not dried out like some other uh, fast food chicken places. So I actually think the chicken's very good. I do have to say the outside does seem like it might be falling off the chicken a little bit. Mm -hmm. Is that normal? Does that happen a lot with mm -hmm. fried chicken? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's normal. Mm. Except at Popeyes. I shouldn't have it at Popeyes. <laughs> it happens at Popeyes. Well, chicken nuggets. No, 
I wonder about that. I don't know if Popeyes did this right. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, when we you were know? last time? Oh. Yeah. Um, no. So, anyways. It's good, though. Mm -hmm. I'm not so, like, I like fried chicken, but I'm not like, oh, I love fried chicken. So, mm -hmm. I'm not going to give you the Christianized for this. Because <laughs> I haven't had a fried chicken where I'm like, oh, my God, it's amazing. Yeah. Well. This is in a sandwich. You like Popeye's fried chicken. I like it, but yeah. But I know what you mean. You're not like a... I don't go crazy for fried chicken. Fried chicken connoisseur. Uh-huh. Right. I, I like it. Um, it's good. For me, I'm just not a fan of the bone, you know? Mm -hmm. I'm not a fan of having the bone. I wish... Uh, I don't know. You're not used to the bone. I'm just not used to it. I mean, I, I grew up eating it, but I never liked it. And the reason is because there's a lot of tendons on it and a lot of things that... To me, I just can't eat, you know? But from what I have eaten of it, it's very flavorful. The, 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 oh, were you gonna say something? It's the best Diet Pepsi in the world. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> this Diet Pepsi hit. I need you to have a sip of this. Okay. Mm. It's literally the best Diet Pepsi I've ever had. It is, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if that's normal, <laughs> or this is a hell of a gun. Well, they probably, I would imagine, the balance is probably right there. Because you go to a lot of places, and they put maybe too much syrup sometimes. A napkin? Uh, please, that'd be great. Thank sure. You. Thank you, babe. Don't let too much? Know. Oh, yeah. It's okay. <laughs> it's the best. It's really not. <laughs> to be honest, I think I've had it better. <laughs> I like the balance of other places better. <laughs> I think it's all good. It's more syrupy than maybe it is carbonation. Why. Maybe that's why. It's good, though. It's good, but I feel like I've had better. <laughs> okay, well... In my opinion. I'll drink, I'll drink the rest. So what do you give the chicken? Like, in comparison to, like, KFC, yeah. Popeyes, yeah. where does this fit? What does this fit for you? I think it's a nine. Yeah, I would it's, I would agree with you on it's that. It's really done very, very well. Yeah. It's crunchy on the outside, very tender, juicy, and moist on the inside. Might even be a nine and a half for a fried chicken. For oh a fat, from a fast food place. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, I would agree. I To be honest, I mean, I haven't had KFC's chicken in a long time. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've had the chicken strips and the sandwiches, but not the chicken you know, on the bone and stuff. Mm -hmm. I definitely would think, uh, I, this is probably almost better than KFC's. Oh, it's, it is. I'm going to tell you right now. It's better. Than it's KFC's. better, right? Oh. Yeah. yeah. And Popeye's, I don't know. Popeye's is good though. <laughs> I don't want to say it's better than Popeye's. I think it is But it might be. Popeye's. We might have to do a, a comparison video one of these days. I think Jollibee's is really good. Let us know. Yeah. What you think is the best fried chicken because Jollibee's, yeah. if you haven't had it, don't sleep on it like we were because Definitely it's don't. hella good. Yeah. Yeah, to be honest, that was really, really good. Let's get this spaghetti Chris has been cra uh, craving. I do want to try the spaghetti. I hear the, the spaghetti is bomb. Yep. Dot com. Yep. No, it definitely should be. Eee. I know it's hot. My hand's <laughs> Are burning. Are you going to be able to hold of. it? I'm going to try. I'll tell you one thing. If I get sauce everywhere, I'm going to jinx it. Why would I say that? Ooh, this spaghetti. It smells so good. Man. This doesn't. Here. This isn't regular spaghetti. Wow. That's not regular spaghetti. That smells so good. They put cheese on there. Yeah. Um, how are we going to do this? Here. Here, I'll hold it for you. And are you, you can sure? go first. Yes. Okay. I'm going to hold it right next to your mouth that way. Okay. That way it doesn't spill. Oh, wow. You gosh, might have to. Yeah. going to spill. I know. It's gonna splish splash. I was taking a bath. Na na na. Uh uh. Saturday night. Okay. <laughs> Spaghetti in a car doesn't. I don't know how well it goes together. Ready? Yep. All right. Good bite. Let mm -hmm. me roll for you. Oh no, I got it. Oh. I'm not a rookie here. Oh, my hands a little bit. Hot's a little bit. Does it get the crystal ice? Are you giving it? <laughs> Did you just realize what you ate? Is it that good, huh? I want you to have a bite and then we're gonna okay. critique, critique this bad boy. Ooh. Hell, it's like different, right? Let me do one more bite because I got a lot of noodles on that one. Me too. Oh, sorry, here, let me get you first. Are you sure? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. You go first. Hell of a It's like carrot. Carrots, right? Or no, it's, a, it's just hot dogs. It seems like a hot dog. Like some sort of... In it. There's like either, like maybe like a little, I want to say like Vienna sausage. 
I'm gonna bring out sausage, but that's Something in like that. that. You guys, it's like a perfect combination hmm. of sweet and savory in this thing. It is. So most of the time when I'm eating spaghetti, yeah, this is it's different. mostly savory. Yeah. Not much sweet, not much sweet in it. And I'm gonna say this is majority, mm. majority savory. Mm. Or sorry, majority sweet, mm. majority sweet, right? Mm. Mm. All right, I gotta try with just one more. I'm sorry, guys. I know I keep saying. I do that. know. I grew up with really good friends who were Filipino, mm -hmm. and I do know that. That's true. A lot of the times when they cook, different. when they cook things, they put sugar in it, mm -hmm. and I feel like there's no sugar. It's hella good. I would definitely say, definitely some of the best spaghetti I've ever had. Oh my gosh. For sure, <clears throat> right? I agree with it's that. different. Yeah. And I see why people really love this because they always talk about Jollibee spaghetti. Ooh. And I get it because when I'm thinking regular spaghetti that you have at home and stuff like that, it's good, but you're not raving about it all the time because no. it's it's just whatever. It's spaghetti. It's spaghetti. But this one, I get it. It's a lot different. The sweet is is mm. very good. It, uh, to be honest, I don't even taste much of the the sauce i mean i taste the sauce but it's it's the sauce is like all sweet it's like all sugar well that sounds kind of crazy but uh -huh. it, but i know what you mean like when you first eat it you get a normal vibe of of um oh no got sauce splash. yeah when you first have your first bite you get a normal vibe of spaghetti but it's the, it's like right then after and it starts to get sweet and then it does and then it's like this unique flavor that you never had before mm -hmm. yeah. very good let us know what those cut up things are if it's vienna sausage or yeah or just hot dogs or something but they're really good you guys this spaghetti hits it hits um it's what different are you, what are you gonna give this one out of ten because that's a tough one it's so different i, I mean know. i'm used to like the italian version yeah you know? yeah uh-huh this is clearly well. A there's like no sweet, right? So this <laughs> you know? is clearly, you know what I mean. Like it doesn't have like I don't taste garlic. Yeah, it's just it's just all like I'm imagining like brown sugar. I don't know why brown sugar, but <laughs> I just feel like brown sugar is a easier thing to like put in than regular sugar. I don't know. I don't cook, <laughs> not much at least. But I feel like it's like a it's like a sugar. It's just a sugar base. Like you don't taste like the marinara normally. Like normally you taste the marinara and it's like salty. But here you don't taste that. It tastes no. like a different sauce. Yeah, it's not salty. Completely. That's a thing. So I give it, I'm going to, I got to give it a nine and a half. Yeah. It's definitely some of the best spaghetti I've ever had. Um, but it's hard to really say in comparison to other spaghetti mm -hmm. because it is different, you know? I'm going to um, give it a nine. I, you're going to give it a nine? Yeah, I agree with you. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, it's different. Yeah. You can't compare mm -hmm. it. It's delicious on its own. Yeah. You just honestly have to try it. Yeah. Um, it's, but it's very good. It's a very little good. savory, but it is mostly, definitely at the end, it's just, it's sweet, but yeah. it's really good. It is. So. All right, let's dig into the other thing. We're going to do the uh, polo bulk. Polo bulk? I have a feeling you're hell enough. You guys, I'm only, we asked the lady, we were like, how do you pronounce these? Because polo bulk. She said polo bulk. Yeah, polo bulk. She said polo bulk. Polo bulk. Polo bulk. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what she said. Uh, you can have the first bite. You don't want the first? Oh. Come on. You're no. the one who wanted to order this. Okay, I'm excited. I'm really excited for this. This looks legit to me. Ooh, look at that. I'm excited. You want to? You're not gonna mix it up. Well, you don't have to. Okay, cool. Okay. <laughs> I've already. You probably got should. my intentions. Okay. Here it goes. Also, it did come with um, lemon juice. I don't know if you want some lemon juice on that. Let's try it with lemon juice. Hmm. I'll give you little packets of lemon juice. Oh, this is really different. Which I think goes with that because it wouldn't go with the spaghetti. Or the burger. Um. He doesn't like it. We'll just try it. No, do no, you want the lemon no, juice? No, not right now. Okay. I'll take it afterwards. The lemon juice definitely goes on that because of the shrimp. Okay. But, um, let me let you try it. Oh, God, what is this? <laughs> I'm cereal. Don't worry, you'll be okay. Oh, God, what is this? You got it. It's ground beef in there. There's shrimp, shrimp sauce, and a lot of goodness. I don't think I can do you this. You got it. Just it, smells it, hectic. <laughs> it smells hectic. You just don't know what it is. Dalvin would say. <laughs> 
You just don't know what it is. Crystallized. Crystallized, no? Not your, not your uh, cup of tea? Mm -mm. You don't like it, huh? Mm -hmm. It's like a... Mm -hmm. It's like too seafoody. Yeah, it's 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 different. It's definitely a seafoody taste. There's also <laughs> like a excuse me. The I, I the egg seems to be coming out too. Does that make sense? Like I feel like I taste the egg. Kind of nice. I like kind of have this uh, little seafood or uh, lemon pack, <laughs> lemon pack right there. Um. All right. So you are not a fan of it. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna say negative. <laughs> I'm gonna say negative. I just think it was a little too. A sea booty. It's not like the worst thing I've ever had. Mm -hmm. Maybe you have to get used to it. I was gonna say, I think that the issue is we've never really, ha we've never had anything like this before, mm -hmm. right? Like you could look at the spaghetti and be like, oh, we've had stuff like that before, and obviously regular mm -hmm. spaghetti. So we're used to that. But for this, we've never had anything like this. Yeah. The clear noodles I've had before. But not with this this garlic sauce. I've never had the taste of this garlic sauce. It's like a garlic seafood sauce. Yeah, it is it's like a garlic kind of seafood sauce. Seems like what it mm -hmm. is, yeah. With ground beef in it mm -hmm. and some other seasonings like oregano, it looks like, or some sort of some sort of green leafy seasoning in there. I'm guessing oregano, but I, I have no idea. <laughs> um, I'm gonna give this. I'm gonna give it still a seven. No, let me take it back. I'm giving it a six because I like it. I don't mind it. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't get it all the time, you know. Mm -hmm. If I if I was at a restaurant and someone was like, "Hey, would you want want to get this?" and I'll pay for it, I'd be like, "Ah, oh, sure, okay, mm -hmm. I'll try it." But getting it, uh, you know, by myself, I'd probably get something else first. I'll give it a four and a half. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. Yeah, I'll give it a four and a half. Four and a half, huh? Uh -uh. All right. With that said, we're getting into the burgers. Uh, Polebok. Po 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 Guys, we are probably butchering the names and we're sorry. We are trying. We did ask her. We asked and that was the best that we got. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was the best we got. Two more things. So we have the burger and then the dessert. All right. Oh, it also came, we also got a thing of gravy, which I think oh. we dipped the chicken in the gravy. Oh, okay. Well, we'll do it next time. It's all good. Yeah. Let's go for this burger really quick, which looks really good. It looks fresh, you know? Nice. It doesn't look like your average... Uh, fast food burger that has its, you know, its own like signature look. Uh -huh. This looks like something I would make on my at home, you know, mm -hmm. just chopping stuff up. I'd like for you to try first. Though. Are you sure? Yep. Okay, thank you. Absolutely. <laughs> Isn't Jamil a gent? <laughs> this lettuce is a little wilted. Yeah, it's not the best. But it has mayo, ketchup, ketchup, cheese, tomatoes, and, and lettuce. Yeah, and a lot of mayo. Like you don't have to ask for extra mayo because they put it on there. <laughs> Oh, the tomatoes. I'll do it for you guys. <laughs> I'm going to take a small bite. No, take a, a big bite. Take a big bite. Okay. Oh, okay. What is going on? So I remember now. Oh my god. I remember now. You got you remember? That's what we ate. We ate this we years like ago. It. Yes, and mm. we didn't like it and don't like it today either. <laughs> I remember yeah. years ago having this and thinking like we never want to go here again. This mm. place isn't good, but mm. we were wrong. We just didn't get the right stuff, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. If we got the spaghetti and the fried chicken, mm -hmm. we would have been fine. We'd have been gone there all the time. But the burger has a sweet vibe to it it almost tastes like a burger sausage if that makes sense the burger tastes kind of like a sausage with a sweet sausage if that makes sense I, I get what you're saying you know what i mean i know what you mean yeah for so that's yeah. what you are interpreting which mm -hmm. could be right i interpret almost like a filler meat mm. like the meat doesn't taste like real if that makes it sense. doesn't taste real it tastes like you're eating like a filler yeah meat so i just definitely don't like it yeah you know now that you mentioned the word filler i'm like what am I eating? <laughs> what am I yeah, eating? I mean, it's probably just like the recipe. And I had to think about that. But it tastes like filler meat to me. It does. But once again, if you could take a burger mm -hmm. that's unseasoned, mm -hmm. mix it with a sausage that kind of has, has a sweet vibe to it. Mm -hmm. Like some sort of like breakfast sausage or something like that. Mm -hmm. 
um, eat it together, it would taste similar to this. Yeah. Right? Wouldn't you say that? Yeah. You want one bite just to be safe nip, on the safe side? <laughs> nip. Um, this, that burger is a two. Our, it's so crazy how we didn't 100% re remember what we got. Until we ate it. Until we ate this. Yep. And then it's all coming back. It is. 17 again. Yeah. Yeah. That's what happened. We got a burger. So, no, the burger is yeah. Mm -mm. Yeah, this wasn't this wasn't it. No. All right, let me get that box so I can throw this in there. <laughs> or no, no, never mind. I'll just put it right here. You can put it in here. No, okay. no, no, that's that's a good place. Okay. All right, guys. Well, so far, overall, I'm like I'm loving. Wait, what did you give the burger? Oh, the burger is a. Uh, the burger's a three. <laughs> yeah, I give it. Two. I mean, it's it's pretty bad. <laughs> it's pretty bad. I think it's gonna be a two for me. Yeah. I think it's gonna be a two also. Yeah. Because I wouldn't recommend that to anyone. I okay, but hear hear me out on this. You know, we're not used to this, the flavors, yeah. right? It's different for us. Yeah. So because of that, we're judging it based off of what we're used to, mm -hmm. and for us, those flavors aren't quite what we would. They're not hitting. You know, not hitting in the way that we would like it. You so know? far, the chicken and the spaghetti though. It's hit. Hit. Okay, let's yeah. try the pe peach mango. mango pie. Let's do Sounds it. Sounds hella good. I know it does. So I'm really hoping this will be good. Ooh, okay. Please now I want to shout out Jerry actually because Jerry uh, was mentioning that like some places like McDonald's for example they bake their um, pies mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. uh, but like Whataburger uh, they actually fry it. They deep fry it right? Yeah. This looks deep fried to this me too. This looks like a deep fried pie. That looks like a deep fried pie. It does. And uh, if it is I'm going to be really excited actually because the deep fried are better than the Peach mango fried. please let this be good. Here we go. One, two, three. Mmm. Okay. You know, you're not a big fan of fruit. No. So I know that's probably why you're not giving it to Chris and I. Well, <laughs> I, it's weird. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm about it. It's actually surprisingly not sweet. Does that make sense? Not as sweet. Not overly sweet. Yeah. So I think I was expecting it to be sweeter. Mm hmm. It's good though. Well, the breading isn't that sweet. The breading is very light. Yeah. Which I really like, actually. Mm -hmm. I love this crust. It's it's very good. Mm -hmm. um, mm. But yeah, the inside isn't crazy sweet. Um, it's a perfect blend, I That's think, of the mango and the peach. Mm hmm. Very good. Mm -hmm. Take one more. Mm. That's good. Mm -hmm. I personally would want it a little sweeter, but I enjoy the amount of filling they put. Mm -hmm. It's very hearty. Mm -hmm. It's really good. I can see a lot of people loving it. I think, um, let me know what you think of this. So, you're a big fan of like chocolate, obviously. Mm -hmm. Not so much obviously. of like fruit and stuff, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I think for me, I think for like I think that's probably what it is for you. Like if chocolate was inside of there, you would it would be a ten for you. <laughs> probably because of well, you know I think so. I think it's the fruit that's giving it that vibe. Like At least fruit. that's what it is for me. I like fruit. I think it just has to be sweet. I like sweet desserts. Yeah, okay, that's true. Uh, I do think it was lacking a little bit on sweetness. That's true. But that's true. a lot. But most people don't like sweet, so I think most people would actually really enjoy that. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I'm giving it a. I think I'm going with a. I'm going with an eight with that one. I really liked it a lot. I'm gonna go with a seven. A seven with that? Uh -huh. Yeah, it looks good. Okay, okay Halo guys. Halo. We think, that, we think that's how it said. Which means Halo mix, Halo. mix. Oh. Let's mix that ish up. Because oh, last time we didn't mix it. That's right. The fam we came for us. No, you didn't come for us. You just okay. let us know. We learned. Yeah. We so, learned, guys. We mix this ish up. Isn't that funny? The name of it, it means mix mix. Yeah. And it was the one thing we didn't do. <laughs> when we first had it, uh, yeah. That's funny. Yes, well, there you go. There should be like instructions on it. Maybe there are. <laughs> Make sure to mix before <laughs> drink. No. <I'm> <laughs> oh, but you have to eat it with uh, a spoon. Oh, this is cool. It says uh, what day it was prepped. So it was prepped on Friday. Uh oh. It was prepped on Friday. So that's good. I guess it wasn't that long ago. Yeah. <laughs> Which is yesterday. Yeah, it's Saturday, so I guess mm -hmm. it's fine. You guys, this is. You got it. 
I'm like a McFlurry machine here. <laughs> That's pretty good. Is that pretty good? Yeah. All right. Okay, you can take the first bite since you mixed and did all you the You sure? Work. Yes. All right, I did get a hand cramp. So. <laughs> <laughs> this is good though. I like that how this is different, you know? I'm yeah. enjoying that. I wish we got, did we get a straw? Nope. Uh, nope. You can eat one, you want to use this straw? Maybe, because it's going to be easier than, than that. Okay. It'll be easier to use this straw. Sorry, guys. Mm -hmm. We're trying to do whatever we can. Now you can't use the straw because I have Yeah. Man. Okay. I didn't even get a little bit. How about the Starbucks straw in the back? Take off the lid, maybe, and No, because then it's going to spill. <laughs> that straw's not going to work either. Well, I, would you like to go first? Uh, yeah, just, <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay, yeah, you're right. Maybe you know? that isn't going to work because uh -uh. it's too full. It's right at the top, yeah. Wait, how are we supposed to eat this? Wait, we have to take off the lid. Well, I'm scared. We got our, whatchamacallits, our bibs. So I think we're going to have to try that. Mm, okay. There we go. Woo! Good okay. one. Okay. There we go. Would you like to go first? Sure. Yeah. Now, last time we had this, we really loved it actually a lot. Mm. So I'm hoping we're gonna enjoy it a lot too mm. this time. You liked it? Mm. Okay. I do. Mm. It's a good ice. It's very obviously good. ice forward, but yeah, you get that mm. flavor of that. Um, gosh, I don't even know what the flavor of that purple thing. Mm. There. Ice cold. What's that purple thing called? Um, I don't remember. Oh. Ice cream? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's that flavor. Anyways, you guys know. Let us know what the purple thing is. So that's really good. The purple um, scoop? Yeah. Oh, okay. Man, there's like a big block of chunk of ice in here. Okay, well, this thing's hard to eat. I'm going to take a couple more sips. Sip it. Well, the bottom, you see how there's all this stuff at the bottom? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I didn't mix the bottom well. It's hard to. There we go. You need like a. Oh, that was easy. It looks like there's like a, mm. was that a bean in there? Vanilla bean or mm. something in there? Mm-hmm, some beans on the bottom. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff, oops, on the bottom. I didn't mix it well, but all that stuff right there, it's supposed to be mixed all together. And then you can go ahead and try it. I don't even know what those are, but it's some type of beans. They're good. Mm. It's very good. So, mm. the flavor on point, mm -hmm. to be honest, I feel like this is probably like a healthier um, dessert than, you know, something out here that you would get from like the store or something like Safeway. Um, or, ube? Like, or just like a... Ube? Oh, it is ube. Did I just think of that? Uh -huh. I think you're right. Uh -huh. I, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Uh, but anyways, that's the flavor. That's the flavor of ice cream. That's what makes it purple, right? Uh -huh. um, so I, I, definitely, I definitely like it. The only thing I would say Ooh. is... Mm -hmm. Oh, no, I'm cold. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ooh, sorry. A little too much ice. Woo! Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was cold. I'd say it's a little too much ice. Mm -hmm. Um, it's one thing if like the the ice was like really fine. These pieces aren't. I mean, they're they're small, but if you put enough of these in your mouth, I mean, it's freezing. Mm -hmm. So I definitely overall, I like it. I'm gonna give it a. You done? Yeah. <laughs> You're over it, huh? <laughs> overall, I would give this. Uh, I give it a seven. I give it a seven because the flavor's great, but that ice is irritating. I'll give it like a six and a half. Six and a half? Yeah, I didn't love the beans on the bottom. Oh yeah, they don't—they're regular. Beans. And it was just like ice with the ube or ubi or whatever you call it. I would think I'd really enjoy that, but I don't know if I love all the mixes in mm -hmm. there. But it's good. All together. Okay, huh? I'll give it a seven. It's good. Mm -hmm. I, I like it a lot. The ice cream in the in the ube really makes it, mm -hmm. I think. But that ice, that ice has to go. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's too much. Yeah, I agree. Um, overall, I really like Jollibee's. Mm -hmm. I really am actually happy we came down here. Me too. I'm glad we did it. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Definitely, you can pass on the burger. <sighs> that traditional uh, Filipino dish with the noodles. Pola bok. Pola bok. Pola bok. Pola bok. Pola bok. Is um. Pola pola bok. Uh, that's more of like an acquired taste, I feel like. Yeah. Uh, but I definitely think that the 
um, new, the spaghetti, spaghetti and the chicken hit very yeah. good. And yeah. I do think the peach mango pie thing was really good too. It's really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. Um, overall, I would come back here again. Mm -hmm. I mean, we drove about uh, maybe about 40 minutes to get here mm -hmm. or so. Not too far. And to be honest, for me, it was worth it. Yeah, it was I definitely agree. worth the drive. I agree. Uh, this thing is good. Hilla Hilla, I would say try this out sometime if you wanted to um, see what it tastes like. It's it's definitely worth it. Make sure you get a straw though. A straw would be perfect. A with big this. straw. A big straw. One yeah. of those boba straws. You know, yes, essentially that's, that's what you need, what you need with this. Mm -hmm. You know. So. Um, I was gonna say, let us know what your favorite thing from Jolly Bees is. Yeah. Is there something that we didn't try that you think we should? Yeah. Yeah. Let, let us, us know. know. We tried to get as much as we could, but there was still maybe like you know four, maybe three to four items that we didn't get. You know. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys, I think we're wrapping it up here. Okay. Thank you so much for hanging in. If you fun. made it all the way through, yeah. shout out to you. We really appreciate it. Maybe put like a bumblebee emoji. Yeah. Because they have a bee emoji, right? Yes. If you made it all the way through, put a bumblebee emoji at the bottom. If there is one. I think there is one. I think there is. Put a bee. <laughs> Any bee. It could be a hornet. It could be a letter B. A wasp. It could be the letter B. Whatever you got. <laughs> Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. Sharon is caring. Let your friends family know what the K and J fam are doing. And until next time, we hope you have a wonderful day, evening, or night, whatever time it is out there. We will see you in our next video. Mm -hmm. Peace. Ah, peace out, Charles.